welcome to the Jean Hales Kitchen. My name is Sandra Villella and I'm the naturopath and herbalist at Jean Hales. In the warmer weather, we often want to eat comfort warm food. So I'm going to prepare today my take of a classic family favourite, the meatloaf. Meat is a great food to incorporate into our diet, but people often ask how much meat should I be eating? For women particularly, I often say three to four serves a week to get adequate iron. The recommendations from the Cancer Council are to have about 65 grams to 100 grams three to four times a week. And that's because there is some association with meat and a high intake of meat and an increased risk of, of bowel cancer. The World Research Cancer Fund, which do a lot of research in, into all of the dietary and lifestyle factors that can increase our risk of cancer, recommend no more than 500 grams a week to reduce the risk of bowel cancer. So I actually use 500 grams in this recipe and that's about enough for four to six people. So it's keeping well within those serves. Now, of course, my take of the meatloaf is going to make sure that it incorporates lots of good naturopathic principles like coloured vegetables. What do you see how the bowl looks when all these vegetables are in? So I'm going to use carrot is often in, in meatloaf, so good orange vegetable, some zucchini and some beetroot. The reason why it's so purple is it's full of these wonderful flavonoids that are really great for us. And people, some people only have experience of eating beetroot in a can, but fresh beetroot is a great way of incorporating lots of nutrients into the diet. So we start by just grating the vegetables. One carrot, one zucchini, one beetroot. Now we have the vegetables grated. You can see that brilliant purple color of the beetroot. Now just a little warning, if you've not had fresh beetroot before and only used to canned beetroot, when you eat fresh beetroot, it does come out the other end looking red. So some people get a little bit scared and think they're having bleeding from the bowel. So it will often give you red wee and it can give you red poo. Now it's also a really good way of testing what we call your transit time. So that is the time it takes to eat something for, uh, to, till the time it takes to get out. Now, why do we want to test our transit time? One of the risk factors with an increased risk of, of bowel cancer is how long your food and potential nasties are in contact with the bowel. So we want food to be transiting through quite quickly. So if you eat beetroot at six o'clock at night and then you're coming out, you're going to the toilet and you have a beetroot looking poo at the next day at six o'clock, that's a 24 hour transit time and that's quite good. So somewhere between 18 and 24 hours is a good ideal sort of transit time to have. If you're having longer than that, then you may want to be looking at having extra fiber in your diet. Now we're going to add the meat. For today's meatloaf, I'm going to use lamb mince. It, the lamb mince does give it quite a lovely taste. You can use beef mince as well. Some of the traditional recipes use a mixture of different minces. So you can use the, the meat that you like. I'm using red meat particularly because of the high iron and the zinc. So add in the, the, the meat, it's 500 grams of meat, and give it a mix through with a fork. Now, just have a look at the colours in that. It's very colourful. And we're always talking about eating the colours of the rainbow. And this is great because you get to have several serves of vegetables in the one dish. Good way for getting vegetables in for the children as well, because particularly if they're meat eaters, they're really going to just eat the meat and the vegetables are nicely disguised. You can do the classic meatloaf thing and add frozen peas in if you like, and that will also, when you're cutting it, give a nice sort of texture. We now need to fry up an onion to add in and add a little bit of garlic and then finish off with our herbs and our seasoning. Okay, so when the onion is cooked, we bring it over, just so that it's nicely cooked and add that to our mixture. Most meatloafs have in it some sort of breadcrumbs or something to bind it. What I'm actually using, are going to use is ground hazelnuts. There's several reasons I'm using ground hazelnuts. One is that it makes it a wheat-free, gluten-free, and essentially a carbohydrate-free type of meatloaf. And also hazelnuts give it a fantastic taste. So with 
any nuts that you use and particularly if you're using ground nuts as I've talked before it's important that you freshly grind rather than buy already hazelnut meal because as soon as you grind nuts the oils in them and these oils can often be really beneficial start to oxidize or go off like the oxidization process is like what happens to an apple as it browns we don't want that we want things to be fresh so freshly grind if you can so I'm going to use just a nut seed spice grinder. You can pick these up quite inexpensively. And just under half a cup of hazelnuts, raw hazelnuts, and because it will make about half a cup of the ground meal. These will whiz up quite quickly. Okay. So you can see from here that we've got a lovely bread-like consistency of hazelnut meal. It does give the meatloaf quite a lovely taste. Add that to your mixture. The vegetables will make this quite a moist loaf, so if you do need to add extra nuts, you can always do so. Now some flavouring. I like to use fresh thyme. Thyme is actually a herb that we use medicinally in our dispensary for things like sore throats and it's a lung antiseptic so it's quite good for keeping away lung bugs. The, the type of thyme we use is thymus vulgaris but in our cooking it just goes beautifully with meat. So just add a few sprigs of thyme, just the little leaves. We've added the thyme, now we need to season it with a bit of salt and pepper. And finally, just bind it together with one egg. Now give this a good mix with your hands. This is really where you see the colours of the rainbow. I've got a, a loaf tin here that I've lined with a bit of baking paper. And put the mixture in. Okay, so you can see that's nice and compact. Put that into an oven that's been preheated on either 200 degrees or 180 fan force and cook it for about an hour. You can check it occasionally and when it's nice and brown you take it out. And now it's ready to serve. You can lift up, lift it out of the loaf tin. You can see you've got a delicious family friendly meal. Two slices per person should be about the right serve. And there you have a family friendly meal, rainbow meatloaf, enjoy. Mm -hmm.